The Hill decided to do something surprising and they hired someone who's smart. Well, Amy, she actually is smart. So you would think that The Hill would want nothing to do with her. But um, these idiots are going to make the same argument about Elliot Page. And she's going to flawlessly d dismantle it. Because, like, anyone who's purporting that it's just... it's They can't wrap their heads around Elliot Page. Oh, my God, he changed his name. And uh, it's so confusing. If you genuinely think that it's confusing that somebody changed their name and their gender, you're a simpleton. Like, you have a low IQ. You're stupid. So she explains it in that very matter-of-fact way. And you love to see it. It was what Elliot Page's name was before I, I like i guess we should not say it because maybe that yes, would violate a, some know. policy it's a dead name I that, I mean, that's, that's crazy like, why that's is it really why is it but, 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 why is that any I crazy mean, if people change their name call me this Elliot, call me this i prefer to be called right, but, this but to not even be yeah, but to right. not even be allowed to acknowledge that you used to have a different name what do you need to be able to acknowledge <laughs> that for what how are you suffering where's your harm where's your that, oppression that person lived as a different person for a long time decades Kim Iverson lived as a progressive for like six months and then she went full reactionary right winger. Now she's an anti-vaxxer. Now she's essentially a full-blown Republican. So, um, yeah, people change. That's just the part of life. And, you know, you acknowledge it, you move on. But in this instance, there's really no harm being done to these folks. Elliot Page is not harming them, but they can't grapple with the reality that some people are trans. Trans existence makes their head explode because they have very small minds and they're very stupid. So they have to find ways to delegitimize Elliot Page. Oh, well, we can't even acknowledge that Elliot Page used to go by a different name. Why do you need to do that? Specifically, why do you need to do that? I mean, it just, I, I'm trying to figure out like what, what context would require that? You could say, yes, Elliot Page is uh, a trans man. But I just, I'm trying to figure out why specifically do you have to be able to dead name Elliot Page and transgender people more broadly speaking, because this isn't just about Elliot Page. Elliot Page is just probably the most visible trans person, but why do you have to dead name trans people? Can you just be respectful? Again, it goes back to like basic names. My name is Michael, but I go by Mike and most people respect that. If you call me Michael, I mean not really cool with that. I, I don't want you to call me Michael. Like, that's what my family calls me. So, friends call me Mike. Family calls me Michael. Don't like the name Mikey. You know, I, I go by Mike. That's what I want to go by. If you can't respect that, okay, you're a dickhead, but it's not the end of the world. Just stop being an asshole. Try to be more understanding. But they can't because these are children uh, and, and this is their petulant meltdown on fucking the internet. And so to say that suddenly we all have to pretend like those decades didn't exist and that that person wasn't that person for those decades. You're not forced is, to, me to pretend that bit. you just can't. I, mean, I understand. You, that's you just can't say it out loud. No, you <laughs> can't. Right, right, right. Why are we pretending crazy. like that is what's happening here? It's very simple. That this is person, there is a trans man now. Elliot Page, that is their name. That sure, is the name that right. they go by. I, 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 used, I said their him, dead name and I said Elliot dead. Page. Exactly. Absolutely. Their dead but... name is their dead name. They don't go by that anymore. They find it dehumanizing or diminishing to their personhood to be called that. And that is what it is. It's not uncommon. People change their names all the time, and we use the different names that they, with, that they go by. Right, but it then happens. if somebody goes, well, who's that? I go, oh, banned. they used to be X. Like, I would fill like, them like, in. And you can't like, do what? that on social media because of this policy. Did you get banned from calling Prince Prince even after he changed his name to a symbol? I it's mean, that's not where the we're... same. We are comparing apples and Why vegetables be because be, I literally because this is a trans person. We've explained this. The name, the dead name reflects a person an identity. They do not recognize. They do not recognize. They find it uh, uh, psychologically harmful to be seen well, in that way. Prince they've moved too. on. This is bad faith. She's being purposefully obtuse here. She knows the fucking difference. Like, I, I brought up the example of my name. I go by Mike when my real name is Michael. So it's more, like, digestible for somebody who's cis. But, like, she's just being purposefully obtuse. It's not really even about the name. They're pretending to be, like, confused. Oh, my God, the name. His name before was something else. Really, what this is about is they don't want to legitimize trans identities because they don't like trans people. That's what it is. That's what this is about. Plain and simple. They're hiding the ball here. Just say it, Kim Iverson. Just say that you don't like trans people. You don't respect them, and that's why you want to be able to dead name them. Just, just say it. Stop being a fucking coward. 
Just say what you really think. We all see it. You're very transparent. So just feigning ignorance isn't making your point any more valid. You want to disrespect trans people because you're an asshole. Period. That's what this is about. If you are not going to respect trans people, then you are a bad person. Period. End of story. You just, you are. Sorry. So for you to pretend as if it's, oh, well, I just, I can't wrap my head around it. They changed their name. Oh my God. I, I, but you had a different name before. I mean, fuck. If this is so like intrusive to your mental space, like how do you, how do you go through life? It's like, you know, if your significant other comes home and they get a haircut, you're like, oh, wait, you used to have long hair. You cut your hair? What? What? You got a tattoo? Holy shit. I mean, is your brain really that fucking small? Are you not an adult, Kim Iverson? And fucking blonde hair guy are we not grown-ups can we not like grapple with very simple concepts they can they get it again it's about just being an asshole these people are fucking dickheads maybe we should misgender them and see how they'd feel kim iverson bro why should i respect your pronouns if you're not going to respect transgender people maybe this dude right here should fucking uh you know get a taste of his own medicine the viewers who watch this and think this is compelling, you have to have a low IQ. I'm sorry, you have to have a low IQ. This is Fox News shit. What's the point of turning to the internet for alternative resources if they're going to be saying the, the same reactionary boomer shit that you hear on Fox News or Newsmax? I mean, maybe he All right. felt like being called All Prince right. was... I mean, I've been explained it. Go ahead, listen, go, go ahead. Go forth. Go forth smartly. Go. I, I, think it's not, I think it's a really weird... For, especially for a for a, a famous person, a like a, a, a person of some notable public significance to be dis formally disallowed from talking about some public and no, we're, we're not You're saying not this is some embarrassing secret about that we're trying past. to spare them from. I mean, no, this is a public, this You're, person was in movies. This is a dumb argument. When you misgender someone or dead name someone, other trans people see that and they think, wow, this fucking sucks. I guess that nobody is going to respect my identity. Nobody, an identity. Nobody will respect my pronouns. Like, it hurts people. And Twitter's policy is, is fairly reasonable. Like, you can't, you can make a mistake. Like, if you accidentally dead name Elliot Page, that's one thing. But Jordan Peterson, Dave Rubin, they did this purposefully. They knew what they were doing. They were doing it to be hurtful. They were doing it to be transphobic, okay? So for him to say, oh, I don't know, or excuse me, for her to say, this woman right here, who I'm going to intentionally misgender because he's okay with this, uh, for her to say that is absurd, is it not? Oh, what's well, a famous person? Who cares? These types of things, they don't occur in a vacuum. Hate is contagious. Somebody sees hate, on another person, that affects them too. When my fucking cousin got punched in the face because he was outside of a bar and I guess was being a little bit too flamboyant, that affected me personally too. I didn't feel the punch, but I certainly realized, mm, maybe I should watch the way that I act, watch my mannerisms around people who might be hostile. So, you know, this is what she needs to get through her head. She needs to stop being so fucking dense and start being understanding of other people. Otherwise, we might not understand her right here. Was it not. was under this name, it's under obviously this gender very, identity. For, let's not, listen, for the dead name to trend, for something to trend, people have to use, be using it massively. It has to be being discussed. Let's not act like we don't know where that comes from. If we know that this is now a trans, a trans person, they go by Elliot Page, and there are a, a large amount of people calling them by their dead name, so much so that it trends, there is a deliberacy in there meant to offend this person because you know they do not go by that anymore. I don't know what is this big, well, and that, why anyone, we act like if we any, don't get if, it. If anyone was continuing to use it and not using the new name just to be you know provocative or mean-spirited right i mean, I guess i i used right. i, I would use point. the name the person wants to use now mm -hmm. and i would recognize their gender identity now then what is the fucking problem what's all the fuss about holy shit if you concede that we should respect people and not dead name trans people then why the fuck are you bitching I, but I, 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 will, I, I do not think we should be for, for a public person, for someone who is well known to the people, for like for sake of clarity or for sake of biography, mm -hmm. to acknowledge that they used to have a different name. You can it acknowledge seems crazy yeah, you know that to say that we're but not. But you see how? To do but do you see all. how we? So that's the crux of her argument right here. What she's saying is that yes, we should respect trans people's pronouns and their names unless it's a famous person, and we can't acknowledge that they're trans except you can elliot page acknowledges this and talks about his trans experience 
what exactly? <laughs> I just I'm lost. I'm trying to figure out what's the contention here. Why are you complaining? If you agree with her premise, then it's just oh because this is a celebrity. I should be able to misgender and dead name celebrities. What? Can somebody help me out here? Am I going crazy? What is the contention then? Why, why are you mad? You just want a bitch. You're just the fucking snowflake. You know that? She just gets up every single morning and thinks, how can I, a cis male, be the victim today? That's what she does. We sat right. here and we had this whole discussion. We acknowledged that they used to have a different name. We acknowledged that they had this life before that, but we never called them the, the name. Well, no, it's that, tiptoeing around yeah, because I, of the rules. It's that I simple. You're yeah, not, but you're not, not allowed, allowed to. We had the whole conversation. <laughs> yes. It, what is the problem with that? You're not allowed to call somebody by a name that they don't go That's by anymore. Crazy. Big deal. We no, it's be not, not crazy. Allowed. We shouldn't yeah. be not allowed to oh. say what a person was yeah. for decades. Oh, God, for, God yeah, forbid you not be allowed to call somebody by something they don't want to go by anymore because your right to call them what you want to call. If Donald Trump, Trump decided he just wanted to be called the that. greatest of all time, we, we, would, we would just move over to that and be like, well, he, we got to respect his it's wishes. Not, it's not the same. Y'all can, continuously Why want to. Y'all are clearly invested in pretending like y'all don't understand the significance. No, of the I understand it. I, I, and a dead name. So go ahead. Go ahead. I've already explained it. All right. Well, she's onto them. They're just pretending. Oh, well, if Donald Trump didn't want to be called uh, or said that he wants to be called the greatest. That's not the same fucking thing. We're talking about someone's identity okay i just <laughs> yeah just asking questions energy absolutely see we absolutely love trans people we have no problem with trans people uh, i think that we, we should respect pronouns and we should also not use their dead names but i want to be allowed to well if you don't want to disrespect trans people and you want to use the proper pronouns and you don't want a dead name, why does it matter if you're allowed to or not? Oh, well, just because, like, I, um, you know, I, I just feel like we have to be able to acknowledge that Elliot Page and trans people were someone else before. Okay, that's fine. You could acknowledge that Elliot Page is a, a trans man. That's, just pointing that out is quite literally acknowledging a lot, right? Just like I could point out that Kim Iverson, for about, like, six months, maybe four months, pretended to be a progressive, and then he changed. He then became this right-wing reactionary. Now he's on the Hill spouting, uh, you know, conspiracy theories and being an anti-vax dumb fuck. Okay, we can acknowledge that people change. What matters is, are we doing it uh, to be hurtful? Are we purposefully trying to hurt people's feelings as I am doing by intentionally misgendering him and her? See, I'm trying to, like, give them a taste of their own medicine just so they can understand, so they can think, oh... I don't, that feels, I, it feels wrong. I, I don't go by he, him pronouns or she, her pronouns. So I, I, I guess I can understand what it's like for a trans person. No, because again, they're feigning ignorance. They're trying to pretend as if this is really confusing. And maybe it is confusing. Maybe you should not leave your home because you're that fucking stupid. And a simple concept is someone changing their name to you leads to all of this fucking confusion. I, I don't know. I don't know. Jesus Christ. This makes me want to fucking kill myself in Minecraft. Holy shit. These people are so dense. God damn.